I hope everyone down here with your post Fulham match review. Just narrowly missing out on a point at Anfield last week. Uh, we needed to get these three points in the bag this weekend against Fulham. Uh, I did predict that we'd probably win at around 2-1. That was my predictor on Before the Whistle Blows. If you've not seen that, go check it out. Me and George and with two other guests, we, we talk about the predictions and stuff. Go check that out. It's a different video anyway. So, yeah, so I predicted to 2-1 to Leeds, but bloody hell, what a game this was. It, it had a reminiscence of a champ, a bit, albeit you know we were in the championship together last season, but <sighs> that nerves, those those nerves, that worry, hiding behind my fingers, watching that last half an hour. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's scintillating, following up on thinking, <sighs> easy, easy. How wrong was I? Uh, th that last twenty minutes. To half an hour, I would I would literally just watch it through like that, and I was like, it's it's, it's mental. But yeah, so let's go through the goals and through the game, and uh, hopefully I'll try to make some sense. Cost the goal then uh, a corner from KP comes over a bit of a miscommunication with the the, uh, the Fulham defenders. I think I think it came off back off back of one of their heads. I think and uh, Costa just left or marked at the back post. Why on earth would you leave? Costa unmarked at the back post and then he just takes a nice little steady soft touch and then sends it towards orbit under the crossbar and in and it's a it's a cracking goal from Costa. And this is a bit of a shout out for Costa as well, because since he's started playing in the Premier League, he's 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 this totally different player. I think I think he's it suits him. I think he finds it I think he's he's kind of his level. I mean I mean he played it out of his his skin last week against Liverpool, and I think he's doing the same again. I just think him, he's just Costa's just playing really, really well. Let me know how you've rated him so far. I mean, I know it's only two games, but I thought, what a goal! I mean, he put his, the ball wrapped around his foot when he hit that, <laughs> and it went in under the under the crossbar. And I really had no chance of saving that one. Absolutely fantastic from a set piece as well. The Metro penalty. I don't know what Cock were doing. Uh, he, why, why, why are you going to ground there in inside the area? Brian was going nowhere. He was just literally all you had to do was just show him to the line. And he'd, he'd have to play it back or hold it up. But I mean, I don't know. Is it eagerness? Is, 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 does he want? Does he? Is he trying to impress us or something? I mean, I don't know. But he shouldn't have gone to the ground there. It's silly. I know Cock tried to pull out. Cock tried to pull out. Um, I know. It, Koch tried to pull out uh, with his legs, but you know Joe Bryan's just trailing his his right leg, and he and he, and he goes down. The VR they're gonna get it because there's, there's min even though minimal there was contact, he's gone down. I mean it's silly for me. Um, I thought it was unlucky with the penalty. That's I, a lot of people disagreed with me. I I thought it wasn't a penalty last week. I know it's hit his arm, but he's moving. So anyway, that's a different story. Um, I just thought it was unlucky last week, and I. However, that he can't. Why is he going to ground there? I thought it was silly. So onto the penalty. Um, Melly is really unlucky. It bounces just before him goes under. I just thought even Melly will watch that back and he'll be he'll be frustrated with himself because he he was literally that close from saving it. Um, so really unlucky that one. Uh, but it's Mitch Rowe. Mitch Rowe does score when he takes a penalty. Nine times out of ten. Uh, but really unlucky there, but that that was easily avoidable, that penalty. So our penalty, uh, the, the ball's coming in, Patrick Bankford, I don't think he's going to get anywhere near it, but I think I can't remember, I think it might have been Brian, I think, or whoever it was. He just put a hand on Paddy Bamford and pushed him. So, you know, it's, it's kind of similar to the, the uh, their penalty, what happened a couple of moments ago. And, you know, it, as soon as... The VR ref see that he's going to say right, it's a penalty. It's just silly. That was like for Fulham, that was avoidable as well. Why push him when he's in the air? You're moving. Straight. Bamford will get nowhere near it. For me, I think he and Bamford's done well to win that penalty. I suppose. Uh, on to the penalty click. Uh, cool as a cucumber, ice in his veins. Just goes straight down the, the center, and it you know he's so he's so cool. Is 
his click and his penalties. I think, I think I've only ever seen him miss one penalty where it went wide. Um, it's just been wide, but he's, I've never seen click smash a penalty. He's always been cool, calm, and collected. And I've always just rolled in, and uh, yeah, there's a calm finish, just make it 2 1, and we're going half time. At this point, Scott Parker must be thinking, bloody hell, I must put my tactical bladder gun on. <laughs> I mean, it's. I think just a lapse in concentration made that help does go 2 1 up. So he must be he must have had a team talk with them because they did play it rather well towards the end. But going on to the third goal, uh I mean it's it's a great, great pick out from Mateus Click. I mean it who by the way, shout out for Click, who has been just absolutely stellar. I mean, if you wanna find out the ratings Check out Oscar's uh, video from yesterday about the players' ratings. He went live with them. Give it a watch. See if you agree with them. So, anyway, Bamford's it's on his right foot. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, mm, I think this is... I don't know what gonna, he's going to do here. But straight, just no qualms. Just straight in the bottom right-hand corner. Patrick Bamford. Do, 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 do. Patrick Bamford. It's got, honestly, 2-2 two two for Patrick Bamford. And I think, you know, he's, he's stepped it up a level. I'll go. I'll go into a bit with it with all the players at the end, but he's, he's for one for me. He's Rod. You know, with Rod, Rodrigo coming in, it's that it's that pressure that Bamford needs. I mean, he didn't really have any competition last season, did he? Apart from Eddie, and I think with Rodrigo coming in, I think Bamford's just gone right. Okay, watch this. Then he's just stepped it up, and he's so crucial to our movement up top as well. I mean, he's just for me. He's He's improved tenfold. <laughs> that's it. That's my that's my observation of it. Um, but yeah, what a finish! Cool, calm, collected. Bottom right hand corner, and he just you know whirls away. On to the fourth one. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, straight from Melier. Harrison jumps up, beats his man. I mean, he's he's dragged in Tete. I think he's dragged in Tete for the for to win the ball, and Harrison's knocked it on for. Patrick Bamford, and can someone please tell me, or get me in touch with, the fitters that fit Patrick Bamford with his afterburners, because, wow, step over, Bamfordinho, and then just puts on the afterburners and just absolutely does that defender, and then cuts it back for Helda Costa, who just composes himself, and just smashes it into the, the top left, or, you know, above the goal, into the into the net and um, when I saw that I was like, bloody hell Ooh, I mean I know it's people say it's only Fulham but Fulham played well which we'll get onto in, in a minute I just think we were obviously we were the better team but uh, you know we. I mean for that I mean Costa and Bamford they've stepped up I said I just said it before just then Um, I mean I'll get onto the overview at the end but Wow, both of them players just, just, just them alone. Now they just stepped up, but yeah, a great, great goal. Well worked, straight from the keeper, straight from the keeper. Millier, Harrison's header to Bamford, puts on the jets, and then just cut, cuts it across. And again, two two of our players run back to the back post, coming in. Fulham just didn't know what to do. They just they were all over the place. But yeah, a great, great goal, and we all thought it were dead and buried then, didn't we? We all, I mean, we all just thought, right, we want five. I was shouting, we want five, we want five, but a bit naive of me, because Leeds never do it the easy way. The Fulham second goal then, um, for me, I think it was just a lapse in concentration. Uh, I think Dallas was just, I'm not slating Dallas in the bit, I just think he, 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 positionally, he was on the wrong side, and... That's what allowed Deco Dover Reed to uh, fire and slot it back into the our bottom right, uh, uh, bottom left. Sorry, um, Melier were unlucky. He, you know, he got to ground quick, but it was just it was just too much pace on it for, for him to stop it. But um, I just think you know, passage of play. I think it was Ingisa who passed the ball through. Uh, Deco Dover Reed just ran straight past Stewie Dallas, and I think Stewie Dallas was just you know caught lacking just for that split moment. But that's all it takes, isn't it? It's just that that lapse in concentration. Not sl I'm not slating Dallas by any means. I, I love Dallas. He's a great player, but he's only human at the end of the day, isn't he? He's only he's, he, 
he just puts on this shirt and he, and he, he does play for it but i just thought he, he got caught in a, just a moment of uh absence there but great it was a great to be fair it was a great finish that's a striker's finish and that's what you ask from your strikers um but next thing you know 4-2 and now fulham have got confidence and belief and that's a dangerous thing but at this point we're just, I don't know, we just seem rattled a little bit and we're just like, loose balls and, you know, just just not calm and composed like we normally are. And, and Fulham, you know, to the credit, just, they, they believed they could get another. They would, and then they just, passages of play and then it, the, the cross comes in and I think caught or got caught, just got caught under it. Sun is in his eyes, he got caught under it and Mitro just, just heads above him. You know, just jumps over him, heads it in. And uh, I thought Millier could do better. You know, I, I don't know, I thought he were a bit soft. Um, but, you know, I'm sat here just reviewing professional footballers. I'm sure it's totally different in the net. I mean, Millier probably thinking, what's this chubby lad with a hat on thinking? You can do it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, 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 I thought it was a bit of a soft goal to concede, to be honest with you. Um, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you thought. I mean, yeah, I thought uh, as soon as that goal goes in, and I'm thinking, oh my god, this is just like last week. This is just this is a very championship fixture, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure Scott Parker had his tactical bloody gun on because it seemed to be bloody working. <laughs> just to finish up, then I thought we I thought we played really really well. Uh, put some pockets of play, especially that fourth goal. I just thought we were just great to watch. Um, I'll talk about the players. I just think that Luke Haling, pa Paddy Bamford, Costa, you know, all of the team, by a few individuals, I thought they have just really, really good. They've really stepped up the game. Uh, just a special shout out to Click as well. Click looked like he's, he's, he's played in the Premier League for years. Paddy Bamford needs to, you know, He's got a secret button from one of the men in black cars that just press it and he goes, Poof. he's got absolute, absolute afterburners. Uh, Elder Costa looks like he's not left the Premier League for me. He's a totally different player, uh, a massive upgrade. I might be just being optimistic. Let me know what you think about our players. I think I think they've been absolutely stellar these past two games. Uh, obviously, with the partnership and with Cock and Cooper, I think they will eventually get better and it's a slight concern at the minute but that's because they're not uh, familiar with each other just yet they've only been training like i think just short two weeks or not even that um they will they will get that 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 sort of uh fluidity between each other i think they'll get it eventually i mean don't forget that ben white had six weeks training with bielsa and cooper so that you know miles 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 difference here uh it's been a, spin a a crazy year so uh yeah so i think melier i think he'll grow into the premier league i think he'll get better i did say at the beginning that uh i would like a different uh like an another an, another goalkeeper but i i think melier will be fine i think his his distribution is, is brilliant and uh absolutely contributed to that to that fourth goal uh so yeah, so all in all, I think we played really well. We, I think I thought we deserved the three points. We needed the three points, uh, and it's on to Sheffield next week, and uh, another tough, tough game. I mean, I think we should at least minimum, a minimum, get a, a point at Sheffield. Uh, who knows? We could go on to win it. Thanks for watching. This has just been my quick review, and uh, see you next time.